Hi! Um, I don't know, long time no see. Um, not really, just a few days, but um, it felt like a long time for me since I've done a video. Last video I did was, um, the glittery eyes one, right? Um, but I actually spent Wednesday and Thursday uh, in the Bay Area and San Francisco. Um, well, I, um, I stayed in Vallejo, but then I was in SF most of the days. My friend Andrew, aka Megan Pixel, um, actually invited me to go out there. Well, he invited to pick me up, um, stay with him there, and then, you know, hang out with him and do some stuff while he's there. Uh, I was actually able to hang out with Jessica Wilde from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 2, and, um, if you know how much I love Drag Race, you should know that I'm like, uh, like, hello, it's like... Like, when I was on my way there, like, to SF, I was kind of, like, nervous, but, um, we actually went to lunch because, um, Andrew's friends with Jessica, and she was in town for, um, a show. She would like, a show on Sunday and a show on Thursday shoot and all that. Um, so I was able to go and have lunch with her, I mean, as a boy, and then, um, we got to hang out for a while. Later on, like, I went with Andrew to uh, a rehearsal for, um, another show for Tranny Shack. And I also got to meet Jose Guzman Colon, who's a photographer. Like, he's the one, like, if you go on Facebook, you'll see, like, um, all, like, the... Well, most of the queens from Ru of RuPaul's Drag Race have, like, a, a shot done by him. He does, like, amazing work with the queens. Um, uh, so I actually got to meet him. And after the rehearsal that Andrew had, we went out. So we went to go pick up Jessica, and um, we went to go hang out, you know, at a bar, and then another bar. Yeah, it was just fun. It was really cool just to hang out with her. And not just her, it was um, Andrew, me, uh, Jessica, and uh, Darla, and Ben. I forgot his, I forgot his um, drag name, but they were all in, um, none of them were in drag. Um, but yeah, that was really fun, and we were out for a long time. While I was there, I got to get, like, the Andrew had, like, the perfect word for it, like, he had, like, I had a documentary kind of behind-the-scenes view of what was going on, like, where, how things work, like, when the queen comes and stays in the city and then performs and does other things, like, I always thought that when a queen, like, you know, travels to a city for, like, a special performance or something, they just kind of, they go, they might stay the night there in the hotel and they, like, just leave the next day and they don't do anything else, but I was actually able to see what happens and it was really cool and I actually got to learn a lot about, like, the whole, like, Castro scene, because I've never even been to Castro before, and I'm, like, 21, and I'm just like, ugh, I feel so late, but I have now, and, um, I also got to meet a lot of other people, but, um, only for a few minutes, I mean, I met, like, Poyo Damar, I can't remember who else, but the next day, we had to go pick up Jessica and Jose, and we went to go, um, to a wig shop, and then Jessica got a wig, or two wigs, I should say, and, um, that was in Vallejo, and then we drove all the way back to SF, and then, um, Andrew had to get ready um, for drag because he had worked that night, and he has to perform that night, but I didn't get to see because I just chose to um, stay with Jose and Jessica just because um, I didn't want to be in the way while Andrew was working and all that stuff. But yeah, I got to stay in, like, he has all the photographs all over his apartment. Um, it was really cool. I got to learn a lot just about, like, the whole, like, feeling of, like, the scene and the lifestyle of how it is. It was really, like, inspiring and eye-opening. Um, and I also got to, like, watch Jessica get ready. I mean, I got to watch Jessica paint her face, and I just, like, I just sat there and just silently watched because I didn't want to interrupt her. And then after that, we had to go to the crib in San Francisco, um, where she was performing. Um, so I rode with her there, and we got there, and then she performed, um, she performed twice, and, um, I got to, actually got to help her glue her wig on, which was really fun. And, yeah, like, it was just a whole, like, kind of VIP experience, and I was really lucky. I was really lucky to be a part of it, and, if it wasn't for Andrew, I wouldn't have been, like, anywhere, you know, in the vicinity of a drag queen um, from RuPaul's Drag Race. The two videos, I'll put, like, links to the videos after her performance, like, right here. I'll have her Lady Gaga one up here, and then the Beyonce one down here. I don't know, like, a lot of things happened, but it was just, like, so much, so it was, like, it went by so quickly. And I was, I was kind of there, like, oh, what's going on? And, um, uh, I felt really, like, lucky to have the opportunity to, like, spend so much time with, like, a queen like that. I spent so much time with Jessica and being there to, you know, watch her get ready and how things go and everything like that. And I think everyone I met was really nice and, like, really friendly to me. Um, Jose was really nice. He bought me some pizza. But yeah, like, Jessica, like, she's basically the same as you would think she was. Like, she's really sweet. Um, she's nice to everybody. 
she's so funny to be around and like and Andrew's really good friends with her and um she flew out um on Friday and I I'm sure that he was really sad to see her go I mean I only knew her for two days and and I was kind of sad to see her go but I can imagine what Andrew feels because Andrew's like sisters um but yeah I mean I'm just really lucky like I've, I've seen that a lot like I'm just really lucky to be a part of this experience because I was really kind of into drag for a while you know like I'm into like the makeup but like now being there is like really inspiring like to see the whole like um, seeing there and seeing Castor, the Queens of Castor and all that stuff, it really makes me want to get into it more. Mm -hmm. And hopefully I will soon, um, because Andrew said he'd lend me a wig that he never uses, so, you know, free wig, that's always good. I don't think I've ever announced it online before, huh? But yeah, it took me like a year to come up with a drag name for myself. Um, but I decided it's Katana Ray, you know, like, Katana, like the sword. And then Ray and R-E-I, like, like Sailor Mars from Sailor Moon, her name is Ray. But yeah, anyway, you guys should keep an eye out for Megan Pixel because she might be out there. She's, she just started a year ago and she's already like in the scene, so she might be, you know, getting up out there soon. So keep an eye out. So I didn't have time to tweet anything or, you know, take any pictures, but like, I was kind of glad it happened because I was just able to just enjoy it. And like talking with Jessica, even about like, like the show, RuPaul's Drag Race, like how things go on, like with the filming and everything. Um, just nice to speak with her and then, you know, talk about things that a lot of people don't know about. Yeah. You know, how many people get the opportunity to speak with Jessica Wilde? <laughs> or anyone from RuPaul's Drag Race, but, you know, I was lucky enough to be friends with Andrew, who was friends with her, and basically I had, like, the kind of, like, right place at the right time kind of thing. Because I just recently met Andrew. Um, we met through YouTube and Twitter, and all that, that whole experience was basically because of Andrew. And he, he paid a lot for, like, he paid for my food and stuff, because I told him I don't have enough money to, you know, eat and stuff, and he actually paid for my food and you know all that stuff so I was really thankful for that and I really appreciate him because lately I've been kind of like not lonely but like I don't really have any friends other than my best friend and my next door neighbors and my dance team but like that's not really anything because I'm not doing I'm not dancing anymore for a while and I only have anyone to hang out with so you know it was kind of cool to have a friend just come and, and you know have be able to hang out with I mean new friends like oh it's creasing why don't you guys tell me let me fix that right now it's gonna bug me. I don't know what it is, but like this eye, like whenever I have any makeup on, even if it's not even on this eye yet, I'll just like start like tearing up right here and it'll like go into, because I have hooded lids, you know? So it'll just go into here and just m mess everything up and it's really annoying, but um, oh well. Ugh, that's really annoying. Is that ugly? I'll just leave it like that. I don't care. I'll just keep my eyes open. So I might actually do a, a Jessica Wilde inspired makeup look because if I don't, she'll think I won't love her, so. I will do it, but I want to do it right, so I have to get some glue stick and all that stuff and try to do it, because I was actually there able to watch how her makeup looks in person, um, and it's kind of funny because I always thought kind of like, because on TV is like not so, you know, close up, you can't really see all the details that like, um, the makeup can't be that perfect in person, and it, it is, so I have to work on my shit, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, bye! What if I just like punch you all in the face, would you hate me?